We are back with another podcast today for today's topic. Uh, we are talking about jealousy. Yes. Jealousy in our friendship, jealousy co-parenting, just jealousy in general, social media, all that kind of stuff because we get questions about it a lot. Yes. So that's going to be our topic today. Are we doing something beforehand? Honestly, I wanted to, but I couldn't really think of anything. I can't think of anything either. Can we just talk about our week? Like, what we've been up to? Being sick. Yeah, so we've been sick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've all been passing it off back and forth to each other. I think we said that in the last podcast, too. But it's still continuing. Yeah. Um, I don't think any of us are, like, actually sick right now. I mean, I have a UTI, and the um, antibiotic I'm on is just making me very, very, very sick feeling. I think we're just all getting over stuff, but we're also just, like, over-exhausted, which isn't helping. Yeah. So we're all just, like, ugh. Yeah, we haven't really had a chance to just, like, relax and recover. Yeah. We've just- always been doing something, and then, you know, when we're finally feeling better, instead of relaxing and recovering we have to take care of other people who are sick yes which isn't helping things yeah (laughs) let's pause for a second i just want to make sure we're not um fuzzy no we're not okay yes our faces okay so how are we going to get started on the topic of jealousy so we we were deciding um topics we were talking about the other day and you know decided that it would be a really good conversation because we do get asked a lot if we're jealous of each other as or you know mainly me if I was jealous of me yeah my kids calling you mom or whatever because I am you know the mom um so we can start there get into my boob I was gonna say remember that side still (laughs) shows but that's live never mind (laughs) just kidding um Sometimes they itch, okay. Okay, well, I guess we would start with you first, because I never really got any questions about that whole jealous thing, about, especially with the name, the mom calling. I know, I mean, when we went to the blend con thing, they were asking if you did get jealous of me, or if anything, with me being in the picture, if there was any drama, jealousy involved, because usually the ex-wife is going to be like, ugh, to the new wife for, like, whatever reason. Yeah. Um, I like to think of myself as a pretty logical person, a realist. Um, and when Mike and I divorced and separated, you know, I knew it was coming. You know, I knew he was going to find somebody else. I knew he was going to remarry. I knew I was going to find somebody else. So I kind of prepared myself beforehand to know that someone else was going to, someone else was going to come in and I could either go two ways. I could go the route that my, my own mother went, or I could be different. Um, mm-hmm. I looked at, you know, my own relationship with my stepmom and how I grew up and just, just wanted to be different. So, I mean, it was definitely a change. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was something that is, is not easy for anyone knowing that, you know, but, it, but not even just being a stepmom. I mean, just not having your kid a hundred percent of the time, you're going to miss stuff. And I think that's what it was, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of stuff, you know, I'm, I'm sure I missed first times or whatever. Yeah. Um, but that was just not being there. It wasn't. You know, because you were his stepmom. Yeah. Did you get jealous when you had to see, like, who I was? Like, I know when I knew, like, about you because I didn't know what you looked like. I was like, I do want to creep on her because, like, you do want to see, like, who the person was with, like, before you just to see, like, do we look alike? Do we look different? I mean, I knew it was night and day with us because you're Mm. a lot of different. But I definitely creeped and I was like, okay, because, like. You you get no I mean I get nosy like I'm curious as to like who it was not that I didn't think I was gonna see you but I was like I wanted to like see you or your I think it was your Facebook that I found before you actually saw me because I was like what what am I working with like if I knew you had like tatted on your face or something I'd be like damn like you know like a little bit cautious but then when I saw you I was like okay (laughs) (laughs) now I'm definitely the kind of person where I'd rather just not know. Like, really? I, yes. I'm ignorance is bliss. Like, I don't want to know. I was like, nosy I as hell. did not want to know. I didn't want to see. Um, I'm not really that person who... I mean, if if it's personal to me, I'd rather just not know. I'm yeah. like, I, I don't want to know. Don't tell me. Um, I so I, I didn't. No, I did not. But people that I worked with did. Really? Yes. I'm not going to name her name. But she was going <laughs> through all your stuff. And she's like, she's the one who told me that you were 18. 
And, and I was like, she's 18? And he's like, yeah. Or she was like, yeah, she's 18. Oh, my God. She looks like a baby. And I was like, what the fuck? I mean, I still didn't look. It took me a little bit to look at your pictures. But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not that kind of person that goes and looks right away. Cause no, I girl. Just, I just as soon as I found out what your name was, I don't even know how I found about your name. I don't know if maybe Mike said it while you were guys on the phone or something, and I creeped. And I was like, damn, she is pretty. And then I saw Michael, and I was like, damn, she popped out her twin. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit. Like, it just, like, made sense when I saw the both of you. And I was like, okay. And I was like, you know, that could be a good thing. Like, I was just like, don't judge, like, a person. I didn't know you back then. But um, I was just like, okay, she seems... Sweet. Well, you're serious in all your photos, actually. I know. So I didn't know if you were sweet, because I was like, mm, she's kind of she got me. She was serious. <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah. So I don't think I was jealous when I saw you, but I think they think I was like, wow, she's like really pretty. And I was like, this could be really good or really bad. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I also didn't. I don't know what any of the other girls that Mike dated either. What they look like. Oh, I creeped on all of them. I don't. I don't know what a single one looks like. It's a common theme. <laughs> Y'all don't know what I did for work. <laughs> um, but I worked in a job where you were supposed to do something like that. So it was just, like, inherited in my blood. Um, very different than, like, the Spanish girl before me was very different than the both of us. So it was just very, like, what is your type, Mike? Because I wasn't I quite sure, kind of, like, seeing all the women. But I'm sure it's, like, the personality that's more similar. Maybe. Um, but I don't think I've ever had any jealousy issues with, like, anyone, even, like, looking at you or looking at other people's photos. Because you can look at someone and think they're pretty and be completely, like, personality doesn't match their look, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And to be jealous of someone is to, like, be dying for something that they have. And I thought you were pretty. I wasn't like, oh, I want her life or I want to be just like her. I was just like, damn, she is pretty. Like, I'm like, okay. Yeah, I thought the same thing about it when I saw you. I was like, dang. I was like, she looks really <laughs> this young. This baby's 18. <laughs> I know. When I actually did my own research... Um, I was like, dang, she is young. I was I like, was. what the fuck? I wasn't 18, but I was young. <laughs> I was like, damn, he's got a, he's got a type. Yeah. Under 21. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't, honestly, like when Mike and I separated, uh, I, I was living my best life. I really mm -hmm. was. I was not jealous of anybody. That's when I felt like mm -hmm. I was in my prime. I had the most confidence I've ever had in my entire life. Like, I, I was living. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just not really, like, a, a jealous person. Um, because I feel like I've had the mentality... I mean, I used to be. Let me get that very straight. Me not being a jealous person definitely came after my marriage to Mike. I was very jealous. Um, Beforehand. Yeah, when I was married to him. Okay. I feel like, uh, I mean, he made me very insecure about a lot of things. And, you know, I and I, I was very insecure about a lot of things. I wasn't a very strong person back then. And it wasn't until I we separated and I sort of found myself through being single and whatever. And, you know, going out with friends and, you know, having a good time that I was like, damn, you know, I do have a lot to offer. Not yeah. everybody has the same thing. But just because, you know, this girl over here has a great giant pair of boobs and a nice butt and, you know, I don't, doesn't mean that I don't have anything to bring to the table. I absolutely do. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's kind of how I view jealousy is, you know, not everybody has everything. Yeah. And I think jealousy is just, I don't, I don't know. Cause I mean, there's times, I mean, I tell you like with the whole social media, when people compare us and stuff like that, like it upsets me when like people to be like well you don't have this and you don't have that and I don't ever want some like you can't change yourself so don't, mm -hmm. I don't ever want it to be like longing something that I don't have like I'm just like good for them like trying to like cheer other people for like their strengths and then like cheer yourself for your own strengths without mm -hmm. like really wanting that because then you're just gonna feel bad about yourself and like yeah that's just such a I don't know, like, a hard thing to go through. So I never try. Like, I'll see things, and I'm like, ooh, I'm jealous. But, like, it's like a be grateful for what you have yeah. and, like, let it's go of the things definitely you know. a mentality. Like, you have to train yourself to, like, not be jealous, to get out of that mindset. Like, it mm -hmm. literally is rewiring your brain to, like, think a different way. Yeah. And surround yourself with people who think the same way that you do. Surround yourself with people who bring you up and talk about your strengths, not just, like, sit around and are like, yeah, you know what? you are ugly and fat and this girl is doing better than you and yeah. oh you know like look what this person's doing like bring people up around yourself but yeah we get compared on social media all the time um 
And it's not that, like I was talking to her about the other day, it's not that, you know, I think she's prettier than me. I mean, Tiffany's very beautiful, obviously, but... Um, I gave you a compliment this morning, so don't ask me to give you one. I did. You came in through the door. I was on live. I was like, your hair is so pretty. I know. Um, we're both very pretty girls. I, I know I'm I'm good looking. I mean, not trying to sound vain. It's just, it's confidence. I mean, it's something that, you know, I had to really work on yeah. myself. And it's just seeing the same thing over and over and over and I like I know it's not true it's just more annoying than anything yeah it's, it's you see people purposely trying to bring you down and it's like yes. oh, what like what what did I do to you stepmom's hotter stepmom's hotter I'm like thank okay great why are you coming on my page to say that yeah. go say it on her page like hey I think you're hotter or whatever yeah. like why do you gotta say it to me like take time out of your day to let me know that you don't think I'm attractive. Like, exactly. I don't give a shit. I'm married. Like, Espe Well, especially some of these men who are married and they have their wives in the photos. And I'm yes. like, you know, at the end of the day, like, you shouldn't even be comparing. Go, like, cherish your wife and yeah, go, say go how lovely her your wife or something. is. Like, why are you on my page telling me, oh, you look older. Or, oh, I am older, first of all. Or, oh, he upgraded. He downgraded. Like, yeah. who gives a shit? No, we're not asking you that. We asked what your favorite color was and where are you from? Like, we didn't say. And not just that, like... Who would you rather date? It, it's a friendship thing. Like, do you think we sit there and be like, we want to know what people think about us? Like, you tell us who who's better. Like, we're obviously solidifying that we have differences and we're still choosing to be friends and, like, you just want to tear that apart. Like, it sucks. I know. Like, in the beginning of TikTok, people used to ask me all the time and they'd be like, don't you get jealous when, like, Mike and Megan talk about their past all the time? Like, doesn't it bother you? Doesn't it make you jealous? I'm like, I'm jealous what? That, like, that w they went on dates or they did, re you know, activities together? It's like... For what? Because look where they ended up. Well, why would I be jealous? Yeah. I'm so jealous that, you know, they experienced this, this, and this, and then they divorced. Woo! Like, yeah, like I there's said, no reason. You can't change the past. The past is there. I mean, it, it's there. Yeah. It's not going to change. And I mean, like, so, just like when you're randomly talking about a memory, like, sometimes it's just like if someone's talking about the Grand Canyon and you say, oh, I went to the you Grand Canyon, and you're like oh shit though but I went with Mike and now it's fucking awkward like you just don't think I think half the time yeah um and you know what like okay Travis I'm so sorry my husband's texting me <laughs> um having okay so with Mike I mean obviously we, we fight sometimes and we just don't get along and it's really easy to fall back into the wow this is why I didn't like you this is why I didn't want to be friends with you this is why I didn't want to co-parent whole Having those little things and remembering, like, yeah, you know, actually, yeah, we used to get along. I remember that one day we were at the park or whatever that we were talking about. We actually did get along. It kind of brings us back to a place where we feel like... Like center, common ground. Yes, common ground. We're like, okay, you know, like, it, it's going to be fine. Rather than just, like, focusing all on the hate and being like... You have to remember, like, there was a time where we did get along. Yeah. And there was a time where, you know, like... And that's what helps to, like, kind of solidify and continue on, you know, the the healthy aspect for, like, for Michael's sake and whatnot. Because if you guys hate each other all the time, that's not going to work. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to think, like, other things that people say, like, to try to bring up jealousy. I think oh, jealousy social media, anyone. our numbers social on media. social media. And any, yeah, just, I don't know. I... And I can't say that I'm like, I don't get jealous because it is it is a thing that you do without realizing it, especially when you see people like living their best lives or maybe, you know, they look so cute in an outfit that like I just tried on and I don't look cute. And I'm like, God damn, I'm so jealous. But at the same time, I'm like, we're two different people. It's two mm -hmm. different scenarios. We're two different people. And I can't compare myself unless it's someone who looks exactly like me and has the same hair and everything. And then like, they're just a little bit better. Like, how am I going to compare myself to something completely different? And then that's what I try to like remind myself. Mm -hmm. But like at the end of the day, we still are human. And I mean, I've told you like when I've gotten off of lives and stuff and I'm like so upset by like the mean comments or the comparisons. And I'm like, I went from being confident to being like, should I be jealous? Like, is there a reason to be jealous? I'm like, no, get out of this. Like, why Why even have, give that mentality to someone? Mm -hmm. It just makes no sense. Yeah, it does nothing but, like, drive a wedge between you and the other person when they have literally aren't doing anything, just living their lives. Yeah. You know, having that mentality. Um, I know... People ask us about, like, our numbers on social media, if that bothers us. Because, you know, obviously we do have two TikTok accounts. Yeah. Um, I mean, there was a long time. I mean, months and months. My account didn't get to where it was now until, like, July. I mean, <clears throat> I was stuck at, like, 50,000 for, like, a year. And you were, like, at, like, 90. Mm -hmm. And there was nothing I could do. My account was constantly getting shadow banned or whatever. But I always tried to be, you know, I'm a definite believer in 
treat people the way you want to be treated karma like just be a good person be have a good mentality and it'll come back to you just always you know even though my account wasn't doing well i mean i'm stuck again it's ironic that we're talking about this really? my account is not growing anymore yeah it was growing pretty quick for a while now it's not but and that's what it is just cheer on the people around you and your day will come yeah um that's pretty much it on that i mean just, even i mean you're they're talking about jealousy as far as the numbers goes I don't think I really had anyone bring it up or a couple of times they brought it up and it's just like staying in that mentality or at least with us. I don't know if it's with anyone else. Keeping that mentality of like we're a team so it doesn't matter. Like if you do good, I do good, vice versa. We're both moms of Tampa is doing good. Yes. One of us is doing good, moms of Tampa is doing good and we're both moms of Tampa. So. And just keeping that mentality creates that that healthy foundation that we need where... You know, if one does skyrocket, we're, we're skyrocketing together because neither of us can do this alone. And, I mean, this is hard enough for one person. It's hard enough for us, too. Um, we really are the whole... What did I say when I said... Uh, what did you get, say? <laughs> I just remember what I said oh, about the tattoos that you get half a mom to Tampa and I get half so that if we ever broke up, you weren't allowed to keep the whole entire logo. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> It was a joke, but it was just still funny because we wanted to do matching tattoos. I said get penis and a balls. I can't wait to <laughs> Just spit on myself. <laughs> but I said, because if y'all know our logos, it's like a heart, but it's like two people like together and it's like super cute that Megan could get half and I can get half. And I joked about, you know, if Mom's a Tampa ever broke, she only gets half the tattoo and I get half the tattoo because we, no one's, in, <laughs> no one owns the whole logo. Um, oh but just, yeah, remembering that it's a team effort, because I know numbers, I mean, I know I personally will get attached to the numbers sometimes, and I'm like, god damn it, like, it's not getting hired, it's not getting good, and then I'll see your videos getting good, and I'm like, don't be jealous, just be, like, happy and supportive, supportive. and you're yes. just like, like I said, it's normal to get jealous, but just to, like, get yourself out of that mindset quickly, because then you'll, like, just sink there and go down the rabbit hole. And you gotta and remember, and too, again. like, a lot of that stuff, like, on TikTok and stuff, that's not in our control, that's the algorithm, so... <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless we literally sit on live all day long, I mean, we have lives outside of yeah social media. Like we just we just can't. And even can't if we didn't it. have lives outside of social media, can you imagine how toxic that would be? Because just the lives just change from such a positive area to so negative so quickly. Yeah. And then you don't want to be on it anymore. And then you go from being excited to going on live, and like I've like literally pressed the like end button and just sat there, and I'm like holy shit, am I, I, I was in a good mood, like, I was, like, happy, talking to friends, and then I'm just, like, want to cry in a corner. Yeah, it's terrible, like, and then you have to do it again two days later, and you don't know what the outcome's gonna be, like, it, I was talking about it, actually, on TikTok Live this morning, it's, TikTok has become, like, extremely toxic, like, super toxic, but back to jealousy, so yeah, jealousy, I think, is a mentality. You could easily talk your way out of it. Think of your own strengths. Work on your own self. It's taken me a long time to get to the mentality where I am. A lot of self-work. Yeah. Because um, I used to not always be this way. Um, so our husbands being jealous that we spend so much time together, that was another thing, too. I know my husband definitely gets jealous. Same. Uh, we have some serious conversations about how... I'm on my phone more because of Moms of Tampa. You know, we're constantly on live. We're, you know, I have to post everything on stories, how Tiffany and I are together all the time. And, you know, he works a lot. And his schedule sometimes doesn't match up with mine. And we don't really spend a lot of, as much time together as we want to. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, he's <laughs> definitely working on it. We are trying to work with them more. Yeah. But, I mean, Moms of Tampa is our baby, and just, like, they have their jobs, you know? I mean, we have ours, so. And, and that's the thing, because I know Mike's brought up, too, that he gets jealous, or he'll get jealous when, like, we're, like, in such good moods where we're on live and stuff, and he's like, and then you get off and you come home, and he's like, and you're, like, upset, and I'm like, you also have to understand that, like, when I come home, this is my safe place to be upset. So, like, it's, mm -hmm. like, if we had, like, a horrible live and we're, like, faking it through, trying to be happy and seeing these mean comments and stuff like that, like, it's not that, like, I'm with Megan and I'm happy and then I see you and I'm, like, ugh. Like, I'm, like, but I'm finally true. able to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally able to like release that I'm like damn like those people were mean and like you're you're the one who kind of like gets it but like you know you're this is the safe place to like have that happen 
Um, and we don't go on lives every single day. So I do get to go back to normal on the days that we're not on lives. But it's like you have to like understand that. Just like when he comes from home from work with a, you know, and he has a bad day. Like who's the first person to, you know, feel that, that dark cloud come over? It's me because it's a safe space to be ranting and raving about a bad day. Um, yeah. And I'm not jealous that, you know, he was at work in a good mood and then it comes back and it's just a bad mood. You just have to like understand that this is the place to like release our true feelings and how we are and it's like just past a few hours and then we're just back to fine and yeah and realizing that what we're doing is actually a job yes <laughs> and it that. is something that you know is stressful and just emotionally draining yeah emotionally it's not draining. always yeah a good time or like when people are like it looks so easy and so much fun all the time yeah. it it is a lot of work and it's stressful and some people are not nice and they get their comments and then we read them so I feel entitled to leave their comments like if you know if you didn't want um, opinions and don't post on social media I'm like I'm not posting on social media to get ask, your opinion asking you for your opinions I'm posting on here to promote healthy co-parenting something that you guys asked us to do so yeah can't win no for real um, and just, yeah, reminding that, because I know sometimes he does bring it up that I seem, like, happier if we're on lives or I'm with you, and then I come home and I'm just, like, stressed out. I'm like, I know. I was like, but can you imagine if I was, like, stressed out on the lives? Like, I'm like, it just would be yeah. so awkward and just, you don't do that in work. You kind of, like, control yourself when you're in a work environment, and that's mm -hmm. basically what we're doing, especially on a live and a social media aspect. Yeah. Um, but I was like, don't ever think that I'm just, you know, I mean, it's as soon as I walk through your door and I see your face and I'm like, Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not the case. Yeah. It, um, it sucks, especially just, and reassuring them, I think is the biggest thing that it's yeah. like, you know, we're still new to this. This is still growing very fast. And just, you guys are our comfort. And just remember that you're going to see the, like the vulnerable side before you see that super happy, excited side. Cause you mm -hmm. know. The minute we see you, I'm like, you don't know the day that I had. <laughs> I know. It's hard. Being compared all day long. And not just compared to, like, a celebrity or something. Being compared to your best friend who you're trying to have a healthy, you know, a healthy relationship with that you're now in business with. It's it's hard because people are mean. They drag you literally for everything. And they think we're exactly the same, which we have completely different body types, completely yeah. different everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, I don't even know one thing we have in common besides our chubby cheeks. Dimples. Dimples. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's the one thing that I can see is the dimples aspect. Because I know when I'm with the kids, everyone thinks they're like, they look just like you. And I'm like, it's just the dimples. We just happen to have dimples mm -hmm. that are the same. I was like, but no, they don't look like me. Mm -hmm. They white. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> completely different noses. Completely different skin color. Hair texture. Hair color. Like. Yeah. We are di different lips. We have everything, like, mm -hmm. different. Yeah, just trying to encourage not to try to bring that wedge. Or even people when they say uh, on our lives that they're like, I'm jealous of your guys' relationship. Like, you, there's no reason to be. Like, just work on your relationship or work on what you can do. You you probably won't get to exactly where we are. Let's be realistic. Like, the whole point of jealousy is you have to be realistic. Uh, or not the point, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Um. But, you know, if if our relationship is something that you're striving for, then just work at it. Don't go and be like, I'm so jealous on it. Go Not ahead and achieve things. About it. Yeah. yeah. You know, if someone's being, like, we get asked all the time, like, you know, how can I do this or how can I do that? And it's like, have you tried, though? And I mean, like, honestly tried. Like, what first you need to figure out, like, how you don't get along. Like, why don't you get along? Work on that first. Did you call her a bitch or, you know, did she think that you were being too friendly with her now husband because you got you and your ex-husband have a past like yeah there's a reason why you guys don't get along people genuinely don't not like each other's for no reason you know what i mean i would work on that and then maybe have an, uh, an honest conversation just say hey you know i want to work on my relationship with you what can we do to get there yeah and just be genuine you can't be sneaky now you can't be sneaky, sneaky. okay so <laughs> so yeah um, we have to go and get on a meeting that we are now being called to. Um, but yes, that, that's our thoughts on jealousy. I mean, the main, the main story is where it happens. We understand that it happens. We're normal. We're normal. We're humans. <laughs> we're not normal. <laughs> we're humans. Um, but definitely don't want to, to really focus on that or encourage it or. Yeah. Just. Be confident in yourself is the biggest key 
to it all. Yeah, um, everyone's got something that's great about them. Everyone has something that's not great about them. You know, everyone brings something else to the table. You know, it, it's not always about looks. Okay, yes. like it's it's really not. Yeah, that's all we got. If you guys have any suggestions or you want to give us a topic that you want to hear on our next podcast, leave a comment below and let us know. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>